Well, I'm back here to show you my little update. And I told you there was four of these little Carter pins. The one thing I forgot to tell you is you need to remove that front belt that goes around the engine pulley. That's what spins the blades. But I couldn't figure out why that one right there, I could not get it to come out. I couldn't push the deck over. And then I realized because I have this chamber back here. So that bar has to be removed. So I got to remove that pin, which we got my pliers right here. And this should make all the difference in the world. So now that's out of the way, which should allow me to push this deck over and drop down just like so. So when you do that, try and keep your fingers out of there. I have my hands underneath it. Luckily mine rolls under, so it wasn't too bad. Um, it's not too heavy. It didn't hurt, just kind of more scared me. Um, I'm doing this out in my driveway, as you can see. If you're doing this in the driveway, I didn't feel like cleaning my garage shut up enough. I've got too much stuff in the middle of the doorway. Um, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead. You can see I have a blue tarp over there. If a person would have thought about it before I put this up on jacks, took the tires off, I would have parked the whole mower on top of the tarp to catch any pins or bolts or anything I would have dropped. So luckily, um, I do I was only removing those Carter pins. So if I was to lose one, it's not a big deal. I've pulled um, six of those out actually now because there was three on this side, this pin here, that hole, and then the one on that front rod. I'll have to take out the two up here also. There's one on each side for those front bars. I don't want those bars hanging down. I don't want to tie them up, getting caught in the steering. So I'll just remove those also real quick. Drag this deck out of the way. I'll go hose it all off, um, oil the crap out of it, and then I'll throw it in the shop and I'll store it for the winter. So now I've got plenty of room to put my bigger tires on. Um, my tires I'm gonna put on are 20 inch and the ones that come off are 18 and a half inch. So I'm getting an inch and a half of um, overall tire size, so three quarter inch clearance, not a big deal. But it was enough that was interfering with these wheels. So the other reason I wanted the bigger tires is that's the size my chains are for. So, and my weights would have fit either one because the rim's the same, but I wanted to be able to use my chains not to buy any chains. So went ahead and went with those. So anyway, that's what I know for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave me a question.